Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to talk about some things that you can do if you're playing the game Rust and your server list isn't loading or the specific server you're looking for isn't showing up in the list. Now first of all, if your list isn't loading at all, what you need to try and do, so you can see I have servers here, but if you're not seeing any servers, if these numbers aren't going up up here, you should have almost a thousand community servers and 2500 plus modded servers. If they're not showing up, you definitely want to make sure that you're connected to the internet, and if you're watching this video, you probably are, but go ahead and exit out of Rust, first of all, because Steam's not going to be able to exit if you don't exit out of Rust, so go ahead and exit out of Rust, then quit out of Steam, and try restarting your computer. Yeah, whether you're using a Mac or Windows, this might help. Also try resetting your internet connection. Try unplugging your modem for five seconds and plugging it back in. You know, the usual troubleshooting things. Now, if that still doesn't work, what you want to do is you want to go back inside of Steam and you want to make sure that your game is up to date and you want to specify a few settings about your game. So once Steam loads up here, we're going to go to our library and you can see I have Rust listed here in Steam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Rust and I'm going to go to Properties. Now inside of your Rust properties here in Steam, you want to make sure that under updates, it's set to either high priority, which is probably the best, or at least always keep this game up to date. And that way if there's an update available when you launch Steam, it will update Rust for you. Now you also, now you also want to make sure that you go into betas and make sure that none opt out of all beta programs is selected. It should be by default, but just check on that. And then go ahead and try launching Rust again. Again, you can double click on Rust and make sure that you're hitting play Rust and not the experimental version. And then go ahead and hit play Rust. Now, if you're getting your servers to load and the one you're looking for isn't in the list, you can try connecting manually by IP address or it just might not be available right now. And I'll talk about that in a second, but let's talk about this manual IP connect real quick. So let's say I'm gonna to go to my history here and let's say I'm on this server, Freshwipe 723 US Central, whatever, any server. What I like to do when I first go into a server is I like to write down or at least take a screenshot of the IP address. So if I need to connect manually later on, I can do that. So the first thing you want to do when you go into a server is hit F1 or maybe function F1 on your keyboard to bring up the Rust console. In the Rust console, you'll see an IP address right here. That's the IP address of this server. So if I just take a screenshot of this on Mac, I'm going to do Command Shift 3. It takes a picture of this screen right here so that if I go back to my desktop, shrink out steam here at any time in the future I have this screenshot right here of the rust server IP address and now what we can do to enter this IP address is I'm gonna keep this open I'm gonna go back into rust and I'm gonna remember that the first numbers are 173.199 so when I go back into rust let's disconnect from this server that I'm currently on so I'm not in any servers so I'm back here at the server list and let's say that server is not showing up for me I'm going to hit function F1 or F1 maybe on your computer in this regular server list screen here in Rust to bring up the Rust console. And then to connect to a server manually, I'm going to type net.connect and then space and I'm going to enter the IP address. And I remember it starts 173.199. I'm going to go back to my screenshot here. Then it's .89.126. So I'm going to enter .89.126. And then I need a colon here for the port number. It's port number 28036. So I'm going to type 28036. And then I'm just going to hit enter. And it's going to manually try and connect me to that server. You can see it's loading. And in a second here, it's going to pop up. When it does, I can hit F1 again to close out, close out the Rust console. And you can see I'm back on the server here. So if there's some intermittent problems going on with your server and it's up and available but just not in that list, this is how you can connect to it. Now, if you try and connect to it manually like this and it still doesn't come up, that means the server's probably down. As some of you may know, if you've been playing Rust, it's full of exploits and bugs and hackers and all this sort of stuff. And what happens a lot is an admin of a server gets sick of hackers, they start banning hackers, well one of those hackers really knows what they're doing and they do a denial of service attack on the server to bring it down so nobody else can log in and that may be what's happening. It's unfortunate but it's what we get for playing an alpha game that costs 20 bucks here with Rust. So if you do the manual connect and you can't get on your server, it's because that server's currently down. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. I usually do different types of software tutorials, but I'm also going to be doing additional tutorials here on Rust. I've already done a few tutorials on how to use night vision here in Rust and how to remove the grass. So check those out. I'll post a link to the Rust playlist in the description of this video here on YouTube. If you want to see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's all I have for you for today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.